All right, hey everyone, one about here, and welcome back to another. I can't do it. I can't. It's tempting. If it shows up later, maybe. But now, I think it would be just kind of boring. Let's grab the popping corn in the meantime. Mainly just because I'm not entirely sure how to balance this run. And I'm... Holy shit, that's a lot of... Well, I don't know. We might just get our, our wish after all. That's a lot of mid-bosses. One, two... Well, one, two, three... <laughs> Holy shit, I, what a chain, what an absolute monstrous chain we've got there. Anyway, welcome to Bomb Run. Uh, okay, so I was considering giving myself a lot of options here, but I think, I think I'm just going to wait. Now there's a couple of tweaks that I've made and major shout out to Boots for even giving us this opportunity, frankly. Um, uh, bam. How much damage is that? 10. This might take some tweaking and I'm hoping it, I'm hoping it works, but uh, I've, I've set it up so that we have Bob Orbs level 3 just to start because I'm lazy, and we have the Alchemist Cookbook and Recombobulator, and the Enhanced Gunpowder, which I did not have the last time I did one of these runs. I also reduced bomb damage by a lot, uh, so now they only do 10 damage per shot. Sounds kind of ridiculous, but with the Enhanced Gunpowder and Alchemist Cookbook and Bob Orbs, there's a very real possibility we are just going to have an absolutely obscene number of bombs on the map at any time, so who cares how little damage they do? I was considering also going with short fuses. Uh, I was curious about like whether or not that would be a good idea. But I was thinking that would probably be uh, best left for something I can find. I gotta, I gotta give myself some challenge here, otherwise this just run turns into... Um, <laughs> uh, I think I'm fine. Uh, let's skip. All right, let's hope. There we go. Oh, good. Let's just let's just hope I can take this all the way. If I miss, we miss a mid boss. It's not the end of the world, but it'd be a shame all the same. Yeah, this seems like it's gonna be pretty fun. <laughs> oh, oh, this is going to be a spicy one. Yeah, the reason why I wanted it to be only 10 damage is this way I don't just insta-gib everything. Uh, normally bombs in with this setup would... <laughs> oh, baby, let's grab another. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I think we made it. I think we're good. It's close. I really don't want to deviate from this path. I want to get on this. If I can do it, I will be so happy. Oh, unfortunately, I'm glad I grabbed an extra. Oh, I had my hand on the reset button. Look, I want, I want to go on a journey. I want to go on a journey of Minotaur destruction. And I can't do that if the game doesn't, doesn't let me. Anyway, I was I gonna say, I don't know. Normally, bombs would do, yeah, 20 damage with this setup, and that's good. Yeah, 20, 20 damage ain't bad. But my logic is, but this way, I have to hit him with a lot of bombs. I have to hit him with 30 bombs. Can I do it? All signs point to, that's a lot of bombs. You just have to actually set them up. Eh. Huh. That was interesting. That one came kind of pre preloaded. Boop. Well, that's a good sign. You know, the immediate problem is we're not going to be able to uh, refire bombs on the same shot. But I 
think we're fine. I could be wrong. But I think we're fine. This is what I was looking for. Now my only hope is that we fight the Vorwall. <laughs> he did not enjoy that. I can tell you that much. Okay. So the problem with stuff like the perfect perfected reactant is that would mean my bombs would do 30 damage, which means it would have only taken 10 bombs to kill the Minotaur. I'm going peg bag. We are intentionally self nerfing because I want, I want, I want to throw all of the bombs and I'm only going to be able to do that if I get the opportunity to throw literally all of the bombs all at once. If they do too, too much damage, they're just going to kill what I'm throwing at. Sure, I could throw us on like a curse mode run and, you know, rely on that, but that's boring. I don't want to do that. That's stupid. Alright, I'm just going to try and hit this one dead on. No, I didn't. I'll take it. Gets me a reset. Everything is good. Only 30 damage, but the thing is, we... I, this is kind of an exponential action here. Oh, well, that didn't quite work. You know, with every bomb we... Every peg we convert into a bomb, that's more things to scale. And so eventually, I think even at this point, if I hit this bomb on the next shot, it sets off that entire side. I was hoping the AoE would be a bit bigger. I was hoping I could actually get it to, uh, traverse. Alas, no dice. I'll live. There we go. Is that eight bombs? I think that's eight bombs. <laughs> I really like this run. Uh, hmm, no, no, no. None of these are that helpful, so I guess let's grab the rallying. Rallying Heart. I just figure I might as well have that in case I do take some damage. We have the Popping Corn, which I'm not entirely sure if that counts bombs in retrospect, but whatever. I don't know. I, I'm i here to play around at this point. This game has... I don't want to say it's stale, because I don't think that's the right term. It's become comfortable. And so I'm trying to force myself in positions where... Uh, well, it's not just the same comfortable experience that it was previously. That was only three bombs? I guess. Because otherwise, you know, stuff's going to get repetitive. And so rather than let it get repetitive, I'd rather, you know, guarantee that it gets stupid. Oh, that was a good, that was a good shot. See if I aim it there, perfect. That gets the whole damn Minotaur. And yeah, we're not going to be able to convert every tile here. But there's going to be a level. I know there's going to be. Uh, let's go for the Ring of Reuse. That way I don't have to worry about limited Bob Orbs. Now, I think for the last treasure chest in this run, No. I think for the last treasure chest in this run... Oh. Whoop, whoop. Overshot. Undershot? Undershot. I think for the last one, I'm going to try and go for the perfected reactant. Ooh. That's actually what I was looking for. Refreshing punch. Uh, crits clear nearby pegs when hit. So now both crits... I'll take it. Now both crits... And, um, we've got one more. Crits and bombs do an AoE splash. And we also have extra refresh points. Grabby hand, pretty much useless here. I got it! Basic blade. Sure, you know what? Why not? What's the worst that could happen? I've never actually done that before, I don't think. 
Oh, you know what I just realized? <laughs> Gravity is still turned down. You know, I can't really complain in this case. Oh, now I can complain. Okay. I think I figured out how to continue my run. Hopefully this doesn't absolutely wreck me. Oh. I wonder if it's the Orbalisk. Because the Orbalisk has been modded specifically in Prometheum on it showed up on this event. And so maybe maybe what's happening is that uh, the modded Orbalisk is showing up wrong in this event. Or it's something completely different, but I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't the Orbalisk. So uh, this might be, well, it literally does not matter which direction I go at this point. Oh, that's kind of a beautiful little path there, actually. Anyway, we're going to skip the brand ball. And I'm going to re, uh, re-enable the, the mods as soon as we... Uh, as soon as we get to the boss. There we go. So now's a good time, time for it. I should be able to just turn them on and off as far as I can tell. I hope. It'd be pretty sad if it didn't. Yeah, looks like everything is totally fine. Rad. So all I have to do is just turn off my mods very briefly uh, for that singular event. And then bingo, bingo, bongo. Uh, we're good to go. Oh, I should have hit the refresh point. Because these, I don't think these slime spots come back as bombs, tragically. And so what I want to do is clear as many of these spots as I possibly can because it turns them into bombs. Whereas the red spots do not. And so whenever I hit the refresh point, it should trigger everything kind of in the immediate area and do exactly what just happened there. There we go. Yeah, it should be pretty good. I'm glad I didn't have to start this run over. I absolutely hate doing that. And now I have a solution, so I don't need to worry about much of anything, really. Oh, this is spicy. I mean, look at it, this entire thing. I have transmuted this slime into explosives. <laughs> yes! Oh, baby. I hope he lives through this, but I don't think he's going to. <laughs> Oh man, um, I think I'm gonna go for the kinetic meteorite even though it's not gonna help too much. Sapper sack would actually just kill me. Uh, I mean, did you see how many bombs I threw there? <laughs> oh man, 30 something episodes of this. Four wall, yes! Oh baby, look at that. I mean, the other direction ain't bad, but still. Uh, 30 episodes in and I'm still finding weird Weird fun ways to break the game. I... It, it's weird. Like, I don't want to say I'm losing my taste for actual, regular, you know, styles of runs when it comes to roguelikes. But I'm definitely finding myself in a position where, you know, I'm here to do weird bullshit stuff rather than... Um... Rather than to actually play play the game in like a full regular challenge mode and I know that's wrong you know I, I should absolutely uh, I should absolutely play roguelikes for an actual challenge but I don't know there's just something really joyous about this I mean look at this I've <laughs> explosive alchemy oh man it's beautiful. I get this just stupid grin plastered on my face because I just, you can't get this in almost any other game. It, so many games are so focused on being balanced and, you know, fair and a bunch of other things. And it's just like, yeah, but what if I want to do a run where I'm just like, I've alchemized the entire stage into explosives. And most games will actually tell you no and say, no, you can't do that. 
because most games are afraid to let players, um, I don't want to say have fun, but have fun at the expense of the game. You know, that the game, somehow the sanctity of the game itself needs to remain. I think that's a fine mentality if, if that's what the developers want, but I want there to be more, oh my god, look at that. Look at this beautiful artifice. I want more developers uh, who are willing to just say, yeah, our game is entirely designed to be broken over its knee. One of my favorites. <laughs> I think my only disappointment here is that we're not going to see how much of this stage got turned into bombs. <laughs> it's still going. It's still going. <laughs> it's still going. Oh, and like I realize that this is the modded variant of the game, uh, which, you know, definitely has. <laughs> it definitely uh, isn't exactly uh, letting me play around to this extent. And the developers seem very uh, willing to actually make some tough decisions as far as balance goes. And the more I think about it, the more I think that's kind of fine. I just wish there was a convenient middle ground to some degree. And middle grounds like that are kind of hard to balance around because either you end up rendering the game kind of boring and uninteresting for most people, or, gosh, I don't even know. It's a mess. But... You know, one of my favorite roguelikes of all time remains Monster Train. I don't necessarily think the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay is particularly incredible, but the entire de 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 line, design philosophy around like, hey, we made this like actually rather difficult game with the expectation that you have to break it to win. And that feels really good, and there are very few games that seem to kind of embrace that design f philosophy. And I wish there were more. Oh boy. Ah, dang. Not a particularly dense level, to be honest. Nuts. Oh well. I'd care, but we don't actually need it. There we go. It's fine. I, because I start with the linchpin items to begin with, it's kind of one of those where not getting as many relic choices doesn't bother me too much. God, this is incredible. Look at how little stage remains. I've turned it into bombs. The world is bomb. I'm almost wondering if a Matroshka wouldn't work actually just about as well as this. But it's fine. Well, at least we get that. <laughs> I don't think I'll actually get that a proc. Now that I'm thinking about it. Ooh, I like this stage. Whee! I don't need to go for crits. I don't need to go for anything. I just need to let it go. I need to let it rip. I was hoping it would hit one of the reset points. Oh, it's fine. Next, next round. I'll oh, please go faster so I can hit the reset. Perfect. Because once I start hitting those, then this stage alchemizes for me. Look at it. Gorgeous. I'm just gonna tip it off the side there. Destroy half the stage. Destroy the other half the stage. Hello, sirs. You've entered into my nightmare zone. <laughs> I I want more bombs. I want more bombs. The whole stage. There are no pegs. There's only bombs. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Yeah, it's a, it doesn't matter. We win. Hey, that's useful. Nope. I was hoping. It's fine. Doesn't bug me. Take stones, fight! Oh, it's these guys. Sup, suckers? There we go. Oh, please hit. Yes! Are they still alive? Yeah, they're still alive. I wasn't I wasn't quite sure if they'd make it. Ah, nuts. It's fine. I'm just trying to hit those reset points. Because that more or less alchemizes that entire side, resets everything, gets me some more bombs, sets the rest off, because AoE crits, and everything. There is no level. There are no pegs. There is only bomb. There's one full left and he's waiting for it to go. Alright. Poop. I think that just insta-blasted literally everything on this lower level. Oh. I wonder if, um... Nope, there they go. I want to be leaving the level as the bombs are still flying, but there's just a little bit too much process. Pomp and circumstance. Doesn't matter. I will say the one downside of runs like these is that, like, I kind of... I, I can do them again, especially if more stuff gets added, but it definitely doesn't feel the same. You know, it's kind of like, oh, but it's this run again. Or sometimes, I mean, obviously in this case, uh... I doubt it's going to be the case. But I remember... Back in... Back in the days of Slay the Spire, five years ago now? Um, I had a run with the Dead Branch and Corruption, which if you know what those two do, it effectively means that... Uh, corruption makes it so all skills are free, Dead Branch make, makes it so... Uh, if you consume an item, you get, like, another card or something to that extent. Gosh, it actually has been too long since I've done this combo. Um, but, so, you effectively had infinite free cards that you could just dump in large quantity. And it was really satisfying. Uh, and kind of unstoppable in its own right. And they actually nerfed it to the point where I can never have that run again. Which is a little bit of a shame, but, you know, not too much of one. Boop. What level? There's no level left. There's just bombs! It's like a bomb orb. Uh, it's the perfected reactant again. Now I'm gonna grab the dumbbell. Don't worry about it. I could go for the damage. And look, if I get bored as a result of my own hubris here, then so be it. Uh, but I doubt it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to blast him to kingdom come. I don't think it's going to be the extent of, like, some of my runs where I do, like, hundreds of thousands of damage. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of those rounds where, I mean, how many pegs do you even think are on the Vorwall stage? A couple hundred, maybe? Ah, I was hoping I'd hit the reset. Not that it matters. But there's got to be at least 100. And even at 100, 10 damage each, that's 1,000 damage per cycle, which means I should probably be able to just inst... Well, not insta-give him. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And they're dead. And we're good. And it's Vorwall! Beauteous Vorwall! It's a shame bombs don't count for healing. 
between levels, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm not hurt. It's sad. I care not for Act 3. All I care about is seeing Vorwall. One, two, three, six, seven. Seven times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Seven times thirty-three is two hundred and thirty-one? I could be wrong on my math. But, uh, that's a lot of potential bombs that I can convert here. Obviously, it's going to take uh, a little bit of setup, but this guy has 7,000 HP. Now, 231 bombs, if I set off every bomb per, per round, which I'm not going to be able to do initially, that's 2,000 damage per shot. It's a bit of setup, but I don't think we need to worry about Vorwall killing me. Is the easy response here. At least I don't think so. Boy, the utter lack of reset points on this side is a little concerning. Oh, please. Yes! Yes! <laughs> His face. <laughs> he just does not like it. <laughs> like normally he just takes a hit. Oh, we didn't get a crit there, did we? Um Now this one I might sink. But that's okay. Nope, we're good. How the hell are there any regular pegs left? I don't know. I don't know and it doesn't matter. <laughs> Why? <laughs> His face is magic. Ooh, and there's a reset point like right up there. Oh, what happens if you convert every peg on the map? Where do the reset points go? Do they override a bomb? I don't know. They've got to, right? The only unfortunate part about this is... There's no... I, I can't get a good screen grab of what the level looks like because I'm killing him too damn hard. And every time I hit one of these resets... Uh... <laughs> Every time I hit a, a, a refresh, it actually just deletes the stage. There's nothing left. There, there is nothing left but bombs. <laughs> just celebrating <laughs> as we continue to vomit bombs. <laughs> You all are having a good good evening morning. I mean, I, I guess I put these up at 7 a.m. So I don't know anyway now We got two of these suckers going. I don't think we really need two of them, but this means more mayhem more opportunities to just Blasto Kerblamo the Lido the Lido the Rito Don't don't delete the Rito He is a lad I do need to say that at some point. If I ever, like, completely destroy him in... I don't know. Let's go with, uh... Let's go with, like, Project Winter. I'll just follow him around yelling, Delito the Rito. There we go. That's our easy answer. I don't know if you'd appreciate this. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, the unfortunate part is with... I mean, there, there are a couple of levels that are actually going to be fine. But more or less, the run's over. I don't care anymore. Vorwall is like the perfect sandbag. Punching bag. Wow. Uh, 
Uh, he's like the perfect punching bag, as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, Act 3, it's got some good levels, but very few of them are dense enough to, like, really make use of the bombs. And very few enemies have enough HP either. Now, one thing I could do, and I might even do this, is I might actually increase enemy HP by, like, 50%. This is probably gonna hurt, isn't it? But it can't kill me. You know what, if I die, if I die by bombing the shit out of bomb goblins, bomb pegans? Ah, shit, I'm in trouble. Uh, you know what? I only get one more shot at this. I think I need to let all of them spawn. Because if I had to do this one more time, I would die. I might still die. Nope, lived. Yes! Yeah, that, that actually would have killed me. Uh, had I delayed it any further. Because <laughs> if I had to red bomb the, like, last straggler and hit him with the whole cascade effect, uh, I just would not have had enough HP. Or healing to, like, get back between. So, it would have killed me. <laughs> I'm glad I know this game well enough to figure figure that mental math out. I could be wrong. There's a possibility that I could have survived or something. I, you never know. But I'm not betting on it. There we go. That's the, that's the money shot. I should not say that. It doesn't matter. Uninten unintentional innuendos are the best. <laughs> yeah, we get a very, very brief window into what this level looks like. Bombs and all. Hey, and I'm back up to full health. I don't actually care where I go. Okay, the black hole's a little not useful. Oh well. I don't, I don't Did I click those? I must have. I'm not paying attention. Flip the chip? No. I don't... What would that do? What would flip the chip do? Probably nothing, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Ooh. Bob Orb. Bob Orb. More Bob Orb. Baborb, go wherever the wind takes you, Peglin. Nothing matters to me. I have been struck by gleeful nihilism. That's functionally useless to me. Well, that didn't work. Oh well, hard to care. I, I'm already having a blast, and because I start with I started with three extra items, four I guess if you count the eye of the turtle. I I'm just going to say it straight out. I think the eye of the turtle should actually just be uh, a meta progression starting upgrade, and it should either do something else or do do what it does in addition. hate the limited choices, but for a game like this, choice is everything. Giving players kind of some control over what they do. I were talking about it a little bit in terms of this uh, an episode or two ago. But the idea of games that recognize what your build is, and then weight the game accordingly. So instead of giving me blind arrows, which is functionally or sand arrows, which is functionally useless to me, in a you know bomb heavy round instead uh if it said okay you're really going for bombs well here's a bunch of bomb upgrades 
But here's also a couple of things that aren't bombs. You know, little little alternatives that say, yeah, but what if you what if you did uh what if you pivoted? And unfortunately I don't think Peglin really does pivots in the same way. Uh you know, unlike Backpack Hero, where pivoting is kind of an important Well, there went the level. It existed for a bit. I really shouldn't have my mouse in the way. I'm gonna end up in these screenshots, but it's okay. Who was even left? I guess there was a tough sucker hanging out back there. Not that it really mattered. That was a tough sucker. Crit some aloes, please. Mmm. The good item. Oh, I was gonna say. I don't know, I was saying kind of whatever. But so you can't really pivot in Peglin, per se, but I really do think it should kind of almost try and like an AI director that's just like hey you know here's here's kind of a lot of what you might want for the build um, or you know giving players even the ability to like select that sort of thing oh there was an enemy left Big emphasis on was. I mean, I guess. Now emphasis on was. I don't know. Doesn't matter that much. And I, fundamentally, I think once Peglin is done and has all the features that they they talked about in the roadmap, I don't think I'm going to have any complaints. It's just kind of the, the midpoint right now where I'm just kind of sitting around being like, oh man, I can't wait until it gets more stuff. Uh, yeah, that's fine too. There we go. That's the good stuff. I don't think we have to worry too much about big damage here. Oh, damn. I was really hoping we'd hit this and have even more Gabuma. But alas. Does that. Oh, yeah, that guy actually does get closer. Ah. Oh. This may end up hurting me, like, a fair bit. We'll see what happens. I don't think it matters that much. 2000 HP is a lot. Nah, he's... he's done though. There is nothing. Oh, well, that didn't work. There it is. There it goes. There it is again. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, heal back up to full, heal to that, or heavy shaft also refreshes the board. Doesn't matter. I'm a little disappointed bombs don't heal you between floors, but doesn't doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so you know, it's just kind of that awkward doldrums of like game ain't done yet, therefore waiting for cool shit to happen and waxing about like what could happen. It really reminds me, I gotta I gotta sit down and play some round guard at some point. Uh, oh 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 there it was there it was <laughs> oh man what QR code <laughs> hey boots boots you want to see if there's a way to turn up screen shake I think we one one shot it no nope. we were so close though that's okay we're gonna two shot this sucker Holy shit. How is that? <laughs> Look at how freaking dire that looks. <laughs> I I've seen some threatening peg designs in this game, but that takes the cake. The entire quadrant 
was just bombs. <laughs> oh boy. That was a good run. I had a lot of fun with that. Uh, I will mess around with some more things. And gosh, I need to like put together a, uh, a suggestions channel on Discord or something. Or maybe, uh, maybe I'll do like a community post for people to suggest runs for Peglin that I haven't done yet so I can keep track of them and pull in some user suggestions because I've been racking my brain and I'm only recording like one episode a day for this because I, you know I can only think of so many ideas I'll like randomly be outside and be like oh I know what to do now and that'll be the run that I record you know at nine at night but it's fine anyway I hope you guys all enjoyed this absolute wild ride of a run I'll see you next time thanks for watching